Hey everyone, today we're going to go over how you can check if your computer's been hacked, what to look for, and the kinds of things that might happen if it has. We'll keep it simple but thorough, because, well, nobody likes the idea of their computer becoming a playground for hackers. First off, let's clarify something. There are different kinds of malware out there, but today we're focusing on two specific types. Remote access trojans, or rats, and info stealers. A rat basically lets someone else control your computer remotely. Imagine you gave someone your house keys and they're walking in and out whenever they want. Except it's digital, and they probably don't want your fridge, just your data. Info stealers are like the budget version of a rat. They don't stick around to control your system. They just steal what they need and leave. These info stealers come in two flavors. One and done, and startup stealers. One and done stealers run once, steal your data, and then delete themselves. Because once they're gone, it's like they were never there. Honestly, this is the scarier one because it's hard to catch. Startup stealers, on the other hand, will keep coming back every time you boot up your computer. They're persistent and a bit easier to notice since they stick around in your startup folder. So, how do you know if something fishy is going on? Let's go over a few red flags. One thing to watch out for is if you suddenly lose access to administrator functions on your computer. It's not uncommon to encounter a situation where certain functions appear grayed out, with the computer indicating that the system administrator has disabled them. Unless you're in a workplace or school where IT has locked down your system, you really shouldn't be seeing that. If this happens on your personal computer, well, sorry, but you've probably been hacked. Another thing to check is whether Windows Defender has been mysteriously turned off. Let's be real, very few people are messing around with turning their defender off on purpose, so if it's disabled and you didn't do it, you should definitely start getting concerned. Tamper protection being off is another bad sign, as hackers will often disable your antivirus software to keep their malware running undetected. Speaking of Defender, one classic trick malware uses is adding exclusions in your antivirus settings. They might exclude entire drives or certain folders, basically giving themselves a free pass to avoid being caught. If you see that something like your entire C drive is excluded, or you notice strange folders in app data or program data, those are strong signs that something's up. Now there's a free tool called Sys Internals that will help you check what's running on your computer. It's an incredibly useful suite of utilities, and if you've been hacked, this tool is almost guaranteed to catch something suspicious. Two tools in the suite are particularly helpful, Auto Runs and Process Explorer. Auto Runs shows you what's set to start when your computer boots up. If there's malware running, it's probably lurking here. Process Explorer gives you a detailed look at all the processes running on your system. You can check what's normal and spot anything that shouldn't be there. Once you open these, if everything looks verified, especially if the publisher is Microsoft, you're in the clear. If you see unverified programs or processes, that's a problem. Malware will often pretend to be something legitimate, but it can't fake the verified publisher status. Alright, if you find yourself dealing with an infection, the first step is to disconnect from the internet immediately. I'm serious. If a hacker is on your system, the last thing you want is for them to keep having access. Next, you'll want to run a malware scan. Something like Bitdefender is a solid choice. But let's be real here. Even with a good antivirus, once your system is infected, you can't really trust it anymore. My recommendation? Reinstall Windows. I know it sounds drastic, but honestly, it's the only way to be 100% sure the malware is gone. If you're going down that road, the safest way is to use a separate computer to download the Microsoft Media Creation Tool, put it on a USB drive, and reinstall Windows from scratch. So, let's say your system's been compromised and your data is stolen. What now? Unfortunately, you can't undo what's already been taken, but there are a few steps you can take to protect yourself moving forward. First, change all your passwords, especially your email account, because that's often the gateway to the rest of your accounts. Second, cancel your credit cards. If you had any sensitive financial info on the computer, get in touch with your bank. If you use any crypto wallets, transfer your funds to a secure wallet that wasn't on the infected machine. And don't forget to enable two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security, even if someone has your password. In the end, dealing with malware is never fun, but being aware of the signs and knowing how to react can save you from a lot of headaches. If something looks suspicious on your computer, don't ignore it. Whether it's strange processes, disabled security settings, or even just a gut feeling that something isn't right. Take action quickly. 
Alright, so now you know how to check if your PC has been hacked. Stay safe out there, your security matters. And speaking of leveling up your skills, I've got something special for you. You see, I've put together a course that dives deep into everything we just talked about, and a lot more. And to give you a little taste of what's to come, well, here's a song I made just for it. Check this out. No 20 hour course, we keep it tight. Straight to the point, get your skills right. Complete from A to Z, we go all in. The quiz is on deck to test what's it's sinking in. Learn together, community vibe. Ask me anything, I'm here on the side. Seven day free trial, no need to pay. Jump in now, no risk a day. Huh, courses, quizzes, we cut the fluff. Focused and clear, you've got enough. Join the crew, come take a peek. Seven days free, give it a week.